Hey guys, welcome back to Umotube. In today's video, I'll be showing you the different ways you can put on an overgrip. And in this video, we'll be using the Yonex AC102EX. So all rackets will come with an original uh, leather grip. Um, this one is uh, pretty thin, um, so it's not as comfortable. Uh, so many people choose to buy an overgrip and put it on top to give it more comfort and cushion for their hands. So you can choose to take off this original leather grip uh, to before you put on the overgrip if you want to keep the grip size relatively small. But if you are okay with the bigger grip, then you can just put it right on top. So when you get a grip, you just want to take off the sticker here and unravel it. So when you look at the grip, there's two sides. One side is this flat square edge, and the other is a sharper end. The sharper end has an adhesive at the tip, which is used to start at the bottom. Or some people can uh, use this other side and start at the bottom here. So when they finish, they can just end with the sticky adhesive side and they won't have to use this uh, Yonex sticker that it comes with. But today we're going to show you the, uh, the proper way, or the way it's shown on the back of the package, which is to use the sticky pointy side first. So to begin, you want to take off this uh, little sticker here, so it shows the, uh, the glue. And what you want to do is, you start at the bottom, place it at the edge, then you peel off the top plastic layer of the grip. Okay, once you do that, then you can start uh, gripping your racket. So what you can do, uh, you can adjust the amount of overlap uh, on the handle, depending on how thick you want the grip. So normally, you would just go and make it evenly spaced to make it look as nice as possible. Um, I would just follow along the lines that appear as you go along. So, just like this. And you just keep it evenly spaced as you go along the handle. Even if you make a mistake, you can just unravel it and just do it again, which is really good. If you're just doing this for the first time, Okay. And once you get near the top, you can cut it off here, or you can keep on going depending how high you want the grip to go. So once you finish wrapping and you want to stop and cut it off here, you would lay this down on the ground and then keep this uh, slanted at an angle. Um, towards the, uh, so the grips here. You want to keep it slatted at an angle. And you get scissors. And you want the scissors to be perpendicular to the uh, handle, the grip. And then you just cut it like this. Once you cut it, you just finish wrapping to the top right here. And get your sticker. Stick it on. And for the sticker part, you want to give it a bit of a tug and stretch it. This way it sticks on better and won't come off. So just keep pulling on it whenever you turn the racket. And that is how you put on an overgrip. So if you want to start with the flat square end instead, this is how you would do it. So same thing, just place it at the edge. I would give it a 
bit of a tug so that it's, uh, it's easier to put on without any creases. I'll go around once just to keep it in place and then you would start going down at an angle and just like before you would try to keep it evenly spaced and just keep going down the handle just like this and as I mentioned before if you do it this way you won't need to use the Yonex sticker because there is an adhesive end here um, at the sharper end of the grip pointy end and then you just finish by sticking it on just like that if you guys found this video useful give me a thumbs up and subscribe to YumoTube for more videos don't forget to like our page on Facebook and uh, you can follow me on Instagram tommy.yumo for more badminton tips see you guys next time